I'm Lawson Mollick, I'm the marketing PR guy for AEM Performance Electronics. We're here at the 2012 Media Trade Conference put on by the MPMC. Uh, we've got three, specifically three new products that are really big releases from us. We're very excited to introduce to the media. Uh, the first one is an on-vehicle dyno. It's called the Dyno Shaft. It's a dyno on your car and it's a real measurement device. How it works is we take a slip yoke and we uh, apply strain gauges to it and we calibrate it and turn it into a torque sensor. Uh, this unit here is the controller unit. It's completely maintenance free, no batteries, uh, nothing else required for operation. And it's also a one plug connection to either our AQ1 data logger or an upcoming gauge uh, that will allow you to log this data. Uh, inside of the controller unit is an optical pickup so that we're able to measure drive shaft RPM. So if you combine torque and RPM, you can calculate horsepower. And how it works here, a demonstration is this controller unit attaches to this tail shaft housing. The slip yoke again becomes the torque sensor. You can see on this screen right here, if I press down on this breaker bar, it's measuring torque in real time. Another aspect of this is, uh, you know, particularly for road racing and that type of thing is, um, it's not always just about making power, but it's about where you're using that power, where best to put it in the power band, uh, how that power is being used on the track, and that, that goes for virtually any type of racing. This tells you it's going to eliminate whether it's a driver error, whether it's a mechanical issue, um, whether the changes you're making are actually working. So all of this information comes through our AEM data, data analysis software. So in addition to logging all these parameters and logging your, your horsepower and your torque uh, from the dyno shaft, you're able to output real dyno charts. You can save them electronically, print them out, upload them on, send them to your, uh, send them to your customers. Quite simply, what it's telling you is that uh, you know, in this log, we generated 231.1 horsepower and 306.6 pound-foot of torque. From this data here, uh, you're able to, again, convert it into an actual dyno chart. You can save electronically, so you can save it, you can upload it, you can print it out. Um, um, the uh, second product, which we're in the final stages of, uh, actually I should say we're not in the final stages, we're in the application stage right now, the application development is our Infinity 10 standalone engine management system. Um, our Infinity our Infinity is a quantum leap in technology over our existing standalone engine management. We've got a pretty nice unit in our Series 2 EMS systems. Um, this thing is powerful and fast. Uh, it has fuel control resolution to one-tenth of a microsecond. To put that in perspective, there's a thousand milliseconds in one microsecond. Um, from an ignition standpoint, uh, there's no more cutting the teeth and picking up two points. It reads the leading and trailing edge of every crank tooth to determine the most accurate firing locations. Um, all the data, um, you know, as far as the interface, uh, it's Infinity-based software, so it's a whole new software platform, and it was built from the ground up. Um, and all the data logging will be running through our new AEM data, data analysis software again. So a uh, very elegant display with track mapping, uh, both GPS based or through a vehicle speed sensor and, uh, uh, and, and G load, yeah, and G sensor. So, okay. uh, which our, uh, our wide band failsafe gauge is our third product that we've introduced this year. We've been very busy. I mean, you know, the dyno shaft and the infinity engine management are a culmination of a multitude of years of development. So, uh, the wide band failsafe, again, took some time. We've uh, really developed a reputation in, in the racing community for our wideband air fuel controllers, particularly our gauge type wideband controller. And this is the next iteration of that. It uh, features a very elegant organic LED screen uh, versus our standard digital screens. Uh, sweeping organic LED uh, on the outside. And as you can see, it changes colors. We've got the interchangeable bezels and face plates. But really what's cool about it is it takes wideband control to the next level. Once you've controlled and set your air fuel ratio parameters, it monitors the relationship of your air fuel 
in relation to booster vacuum pressure and you can trigger an output so that you tell it in simplest terms you tell it if I run lean and I run lean for a certain amount of time trigger this output so that my motor doesn't burn, so blow so I don't burn up a piston it's that simple if your car runs lean it'll save your engine